Well, spring is near. Today's temperature is getting up into the 50s, and that means there's some serious melting going on considering the amount of snow still on the ground. Well, as the melting continues, we're learning more about what we can do to protect our homes from potential flooding. Meteorologist Pete Mangione joins us now from the weather yard with the details that are new at 6. Milder temperatures and melting can be a good thing unless it happens all at once. A day like Wednesday is almost ideal. We get the pleasant sound of melting without creating any major flooding hazards. But with likely rain on top of the snowpack this weekend, it doesn't hurt to take action now. The most important thing at your home, Pete, is to make sure that you check around the foundations. Make sure all the snow is cleared away from the foundations. Larry Gemma from Gem Plumbing and Heating says heavy rain combined with snow melt can be too much for many basements to take, especially near basement windows. It's going to come in through windows. It's going to come in through cracks in your foundation. It's going to come in through your sill plate, which is where your foundation meets the home. If water does end up leaking through, there is still one last line of defense. But the most important pump for this type of water is a utility pump. Gemma says you can hook the utility pump up to a garden hose and then use it kind of like a vacuum cleaner. You just have to make sure to drain the excess water far enough away from the sides of your house. So what about the sump pump? This will be more useful once our snowpack is gone and water can start leaking in from deeper underground. And for more information on home flood prevention, you can find that link to our website at WPRI.com. I'm meteorologist Pete Mangione. Eyewitness News.